What was your reality on August 21st? Uh, what happened in your judgment? We were not in the area where the, alle where the, where the alleged chemical attack was happened, as it alleged. We're not sure that anything had been caused. Even at this date, you are not sure that chemical weapons, even though you have seen the videotape, even though you've seen the bodies, even though no, uh, your I, own officials no, have I, been there. I haven't finished. Our soldiers in another area were attacked chemically. Our soldiers, they went to the hospital uh, as casualties because of chemical weapons. But in the area where they said the government used chemical weapons, we only had video and we only have pictures and allegations. We're not there. Our forces, our police, our institutions don't exist. How can you talk about what happened? We don't have evidences. We're not like the American administration. We're not social media administration or government. We are the government that deal with the reality. Well, when we have evidences, we will announce. Uh, well, as you know, Secretary uh, Kerry has said there is evidence that the, they saw rockets that fired from a, a region controlled by your forces into a region controlled by the rebels. Mm -hmm. uh, they have evidence from satellite photographs of that. Mm -hmm. uh, they have evidence of a, a, of a message that was intercepted about um, chemical weapons and, mm -hmm. and that soon thereafter there were other intercepted messages. So Secretary Kerry has presented what he concludes is conclusive evidence. No, he presented his confidence and he presented his convictions. It's not, about, it's not about confidence, it's about evidence. The United, uh, sorry, uh, the Russians have completely opposite evidence that the missiles were thrown from area where the rebels controlled. Uh, that reminds me uh, about what Kerry said, uh, about the big lie that uh, Colin Powell said in front of the world on satellites about the WMD in Iraq before going to war, when he said, this is our evidence. Uh, actually, uh, he gave uh, false evidence. In this case, Kerry didn't even present any evidence. He talked, we have evidence, and he didn't present anything. Not yet, no, no, nothing so far. With the United not, not, not single shred of evidence. Charlie also has to decide if he believes Washington will go ahead with military action against his country. There is an intense discussion going on about all the things we're talking about yeah. in Washington, where if there's a strike, it will emanate from the United States' decision to do this. What do you want to say in this very important week in America mm -hmm. and in Washington to the American people, mm -hmm. to members of Congress, uh, to the President of the United States? Uh, I think the most important part of this now is uh, say the American people, but the, the polls show that mo the majority now don't uh, want a war anywhere, not only against Syria. But uh, the Congress is going to vote uh, about this in a few days, and I think the Congress is elected by the people and represent the people and work for their interests. So the first question that they should ask themselves, what do wars give America since Vietnam till now? Nothing. No political gain, no economic gain, no good reputation. The United States is at all low time. The credibility is at all low, all time low. Uh, uh, so this war is against the interests of the United States. Why? First of all, because this is the war that's going to support Al Qaeda and the same people that uh, kill Americans in the 11th uh, of September. The second thing that we all want to tell to, to the Congress that they should ask, and that's what we expect, we expect them to ask this administration about the evidence that they have regarding the chemical story and allegations that they presented. I wouldn't tell the, uh, the president or any other official because we were disappointed by their behavior recently because we expected this administration different from Bush's uh, administration. They are adopting the same uh, doctrine with different accessories. That's it. So we expect, if we want to expect something for the, from this administration, is not to be weak, to be strong, to say that we don't have evidence, that we have to obey uh, the international law, that we have to go back to the Security Council and the United Nations. Question remains, what can you say to the president who believes chemical weapons were used and were used by your government mm -hmm. that this will not happen again? I would tell you very simply, will. present what you have as evidence to the, to the public. Be transparent. When and you, if he does? 
if he does. If he presents that evidence. This is where you can discuss the evidence, but he doesn't have. He didn't present it because he doesn't have. Kerry doesn't have. No one in your administration has. If they had it, they would have presented it to you no. as media for the, for they the have, first they, day. They have presented it to the Congress. Nothing. They Nothing have shown the Congress what they have and the evidence they have from satellites, intercepted messages, and the like. Nothing and presented. Nothing has been presented so far. They have presented it to the Congress, sir. You, you're a reporter. Get, get the, uh, this uh, uh, evidence well, and show it to the, to the public in your country. They're presenting, we, it we to the, they're presenting it to the public representative. You don't show your evidence and what you're doing and your plans to, to uh, people that within your own council. They're so, showing it to the people's representative so uh, who have to vote on uh, an authorization to strike. And if they don't find the evidence sufficient. First of all, we have the president, the president of uh, Colin Powell 10 years ago. When he showed the evidence, it was false and it was forged. This is first. Second, you want me to believe American evidence and don't believe the indication that we have. We live here. And Assad gave a chilling warning when Charlie asked what kind of retaliation American interests could face if the U.S. launches a strike. Will there be attacks against American bases in the Middle East if there is an airstrike? You should expect everything. You should expect everything. No, not necessarily through the government. It's not only the governments are not only not the only player in this region. You have different parties. You have different factions. You have different ideology. Uh, you have everything in this region now. So uh, you have to expect that. Expect. Tell me what you mean by expect everything. Expect every action, including every. chemical warfare. That depends if the. Uh, if the rebel or the uh, terrorists in this region or any other group have it, it could happen. I don't know. We don't. I'm not for fortune, fortune teller to tell you what's going to happen. But we'd like to know more, and I think the president would like to know more. American people would like to know. You yeah. know, if there's an attack, you know, what might be the repercussions, and who might be engaged in those repercussions before the 11th of September. In my discussion with many officials in the United States, some of them are congressmen, I used to, to say that don't deal with the terrorists in, uh, as uh, playing games. It's a different story. You're going to pay the price if you're not wise in dealing with the terrorists. So nobody expects, we said there's going to be a repercussion of the uh, mistaken way of dealing with it, of treating the terrorism. But nobody expected 11th of September. So you cannot expect, it's difficult for anyone to tell you what's going to happen. It's an area where everything is on the brink of explosion. You have to expect everything.